With the Tutor LMS Course Import Export add-on, you can instantly export courses, lessons, and topics into a XLS or XLSX file or add new courses and course content using a simple spreadsheet template. Let's get started by installing and activating the Tutor LMS Course Import Export add-on. Great, now you can find the Course Import Export heading under the Tutor LMS drop-down menu. This heading will take you to the add-on settings. First, Let's take a look on how we can export courses from the Export Courses tab. Here you will find options to export each of your courses either in XLS or XLSX format. Once downloaded, you can easily import them into another site using this add-on. We will get to that in a moment. You also have the ability to export multiple courses at one time by simply selecting the courses and then exporting them from the drop-down of bulk option. Now let's take a look on how to import courses. Go to the Import Course tab and here you can only import XLS or XLSX files. Once you have selected the file, click Next. This will start importing the course and on the successful process, it will show imported successfully. When it comes to template, standard template file is available in the Import Courses tab. You can fill this template to create quick and easy courses to import into your LMS. The default course template looks like this and it has three sheets that are courses, topics, and lessons. Course sheet has multiple columns. In first column, you can add the type that is course. In second column, you can add the title of course. In the third column, you can add the course content. Category. Here you can add the course category. Price. Used to add the price of the course. Monetize by. Here you can set the course type that is paid or free. Course image, used to add the link of course featured image. Public course, add yes to this field if the course is public. Course level, here you can add the course difficulty level that is beginner, intermediate, or expert. Course duration, add the total course duration in this field. Maximum students, used to add the total number of students that can enroll in the course. Enrollment expiry, used to add the enrollment expiry period. Enable question and answers. Add yes in this field if you want to enable question and answers for your course. Course material includes used to add all of the course materials. In the second last column, you can add the course target audience and similarly in the last column, you can add the course requirements. Now let's move to the topic sheet. In its first column, you can add the type that is topic. Title, this is the second column and here you can add the title of topic. In the second last column, you can add the topic content, and in the last column, you can add the title of associated course. Let's move to lesson sheet. In its first column, you can add the type that is lesson. Title, this is the second column, and here you can add the title of lesson. In the third column, you can add the lesson content. Lesson image, here you can add the lesson image. Lesson video, in this column, you can add the video link along with its detail. In the second last column, you can add the lesson attachment, and in the last column, you can add the title of associated topic. For further information about working with this template or anything we've been through in this tutorial, you can refer back to the plugin documentation available on the WooNinjas website. As you can see, by integrating the Tutor LMS course import export add on into your e learning site, you will save valuable time and effort within your daily course management. Thanks for watching.